In this video, I'm going to set up a test to measure how effective the mechanical advantage is of my stump pulling lever. Now this is me setting it up, but before we get to the exciting details, we first have to get the experiment ready. So here's the board that I will use as my test platform. And then in order to keep it from moving around, I set this bucket of water on it. And here is my simulated lever. And then I need a place to install the eye bolt. And that's right there. And then I tighten it down with that screwdriver. And then I need to get the measurement of the lever, and it's 40 inches. And then I mark on my test board the distance I want to put the lever away from the eye bolt. And I'm marking it in 6 inch increments. Then I need to install a bolt in the top of my lever in order to wrap the rope around. And then I need to test my scales to make sure they measure close to the same. And here I am tying some 550 cord around the first scale. And here I'm setting it up to make for sure that everything will work as I expect. And here I'm showing the first pole. And here's a zoomed in version of the scales so that I could get the data correct for calculating the achieved and also theoretical mechanical advantage. To continue with the test, I simply move the lever to the 12 inch location and then I do a pull again and I collect the data from the scales. And then I reset to 18 inches away from the eye bolt and again check the scales and each time that I'm moving the lever away I have to pull harder and harder in order to get the same measurement on the scale down by the eye bolt. And this is the last one I did at 24 inches away. Okay, so here are the calculations for the mechanical advantage test that I did. So I have a label for um, how far away I put the lever from the anchor point, and then I have the input force, and that's how much I pulled on the fish scale that was in my hand. Here's the output force, so that's the scale that's down hooked to the eye bolt. And then to calculate the mechanical advantage, I just divide the output force by the input force, and I also had to put in a calibration factor because when I measured the two scales together, the input force scale did not measure exactly the same as the output force scale. So that's that calibration factor there of 0.96. That gives me the mechanical advantage that I have. And then I have to calculate the mechanical advantage uh, of what the theoretical mechanical advantage should be. So I have the lever length, which is 40 inches, and I have the distance away from the eye bolt, and then I have my calculated mechanical advantage, and then how much error I got between calculated and actual in the experiment. 
Now, I had some significant sources of error in this experiment. I believe most of it was the inaccuracy of the little mechanical scale that I had. But still, I'm pretty happy with these results. They show that I do get a significant mechanical advantage the closer my stump pulling lever is to the thing that I'm trying to pull up. Hey, do you like these videos? Subscribe. I'll make more. Bye.